This is LiveHipHopDaily.tv. Welcome back to The Plug. DJ Khaled, Simo, Karen, Michelle, we what are up? back in the building. We are here with our special guest, finally, hey, Mr. Hanky. What's going on, man? I'm happy to be here. What up? Uh, All right. Yeah, The Plug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 so welcome to the plug. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Uh, for everybody that is not familiar with who you are and been sleeping under a fucking rock and don't know who you are, what you do, uh, introduce yourself to the people, our watchers on Laughing Plug on Man. TV. Yeah, so I got to plug myself. So um, I'm Mr. <laughs> Hanky, the producer. Uh, I made a lot of uh, great songs that you like. Uh, some of you might not like, but I made them. So it's cool. I like all the songs. All the videos today, by the way, that we're going to play are produced by Mr. Hanky. So oh, we're going to wow. get the people familiar with your uh, catalog today. Okay. We got that long. Is that okay? Is, <laughs> that, is that okay with you? It's a lot. That's a it's lot, a lot. I, it's a I, lot. I, picked, I picked a good, like, seven. Okay, that's cool. It's yeah. a solid seven. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Hanky, where are you originally from? I'm originally, like, right from down the street, um, about two exits that way. Atlanta, yeah, born and Atlanta. raised. Yeah, East Atlanta. Well, I yeah, don't have to street. ask you if down you like street. Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to ask you if you love Atlanta. Yeah, you got to. I mean, everybody moving here, so I mean, you know. Sorry, I go. Do you feel like Atlanta <laughs> is the new? Uh, they keep saying that Atlanta is the new Black Hollywood, like the new mm. LA. Do you feel like that's what it is? Yeah, it's been like that since what ninety six or something. Really? Ninety yeah, six. Yeah, since yeah, like free Nick era. Uh, that's when a lot of people start, you know coming down for free nigga and they never left so mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you got some people down here like um they came to college in the 80s and they now they got kids that's here. and they, and they never got left kids. yeah they just here <laughs> well i will say i love atlanta i moved here from dc not that long ago i love atlanta the vibe um and this is an interesting question to ask you since you've been here and been dealing with the <laughs> industry and oh the, the scene for a while uh when i got here a lot of people told me that atlanta's really clickish have you ever ran into that? Do you think that that's what it is? Or what's your perspective on that? And are you part of that? And click? are you part yeah, of the click? And click claim your you sit if you do. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not, it's not clickish in the, um, I mean, you have different people who rock with different people. So in that respect, yeah, you know, um, but everybody still works with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like everybody does, you know, I do the kind of music I do. Future does the kind of music he does. Jeezy does the kind of music he does. But it's not like, you know, well, I don't work with Jeezy. I don't work with Future. So, you know, I don't, I don't like them. Mm-hmm. It's not that type of situation. But, you know, people do rock with who they rock with. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Hanky, let's go all the way back to the beginning. Mr. East Atlanta, <laughs> born and raised. <laughs> when did you first get involved in any type of music? Uh, From the very beginning. You sound a real New York right there. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Mimi. Word, word up, kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nah, I've been uh, involved in music since day one. Um, my mom, she's a um, chorus director. Okay. And she played at church. So did my grandmother. Both of my, well, my father's mother did. So I literally grew up on the pianos since mm-hmm. day one, like in diapers. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so. So at what point in your career did, Well at what point in your life Since you've been around music your whole life At what point did you say This is something that I really want to take seriously And I'm really good at it I want to take it seriously And take it to a whole nother level um, It might have been when I was in college um, I was in school to be a, a, a music educator mm-hmm. And I was working in the um, computer lab As a work study mm-hmm. They just they set up like all kind of new equipment um, I think Cakewalk had just come out Fruity mm-hmm. Loops had just come out Mm. So I was just basically in there, you know, just pressing buttons and stuff and figured out it wasn't as complicated as I thought it was. Right. And I just started making beats for people in the dorm and it was, that was it. Okay. You know, he's messing with some stuff like, oh, this, this shit yeah. is hot. I was, DJing, I was DJing too. So, you know, shout out to the DJs. You yeah. Know. So, it, you know, it all made sense. So. I'm not a producer. Cal's a producer. I'm you're a producer. You a producer and <laughs> I keep hearing, like, everybody says, like, one software is better than the other. Shout out Pro. Why you take my question? Like, I don't know. Everybody keeps saying that they prefer. I don't know what any of this means, by the way, Mr. Okay. Hanky. All I keep hearing is a lot of producers like to use Fruity Loops uh-huh. and not. Use Fruity Loops. You can use Logic. You can use Reason. You can use. Uh, but I keep hearing the recurring Fruity Loops. What's your preferred program? Pro Tools. You can use a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, it really depends. Um, I like Pro Tools personally. Like Pro Tools. Um, because it's easy for me to transfer the actual um 
it's still the industry standard as far as you know when you deal yeah. with different artists right so it's easier to work with you know since mm-hmm. those different art- artists with features or or whatever so mm-hmm. i still prefer pro, uh, pro tools but i do work on like ableton ableton um, no. fruity loops uh logic uh i even did some stuff on garage band so okay it depends it really depends on what you want to do and nine times out of ten i already got the beat made in my head Right. Okay. So it's already, you know, it just was easier to get to. So you don't like to use reason? I mean, the <laughs> yeah. only thing I don't like about reasons is like, um, you know, you got different sounds you can use, but everybody pretty much use the same sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to you got to dig through them. Right, <laughs> you got to so, dig through the sound to find your you sound. Know, <laughs> you know, since everybody using the same sounds, it, it tend to sound the same regardless. Mm-hmm. You know, so. So like when you when you're producing, um, do you find it? a hard time to like get exactly what you hear in your head to come out or it just comes out like that like you just pretty much just spit it out like it comes out of your head yeah it pretty much just come out at this point but okay because um, I, I got the system now so i already you know i know what sounds i'm gonna use i've been using the same sounds for like the last six seven eight years so okay i already know what i'm going to when i get there so it takes me about 15 20 minutes to put it together and okay done. It took it took a long time for me to like finally do that. It takes a long time for you to actually like get the exact sound that you hear in your head and they're like, okay, right. this is what I hear. Cause you end up doing that and you make a completely different beat. You be exactly. like, All right, this is not what I heard, but I can work with this. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it happens. So when you're making a beat for uh-huh. an artist, like let's say an artist approached you and say, you know, I want to uh, get a beat from you, work with you, whatever, get in the studio. Now, do you? go through a catalog of beats that you already have or are the beats that you use with these artists custom beats based off of who the artist is at that moment um it's it's a little of both um sometimes you know they want to do something straight from scratch then other times you know they just pull up you know and they just mm-hmm. be like hey man just play something i know you got something and then <laughs> you know usually by the second or third uh track you know they pretty you know much know what they want Okay, okay, okay. So you, you've been through uh, an extensive catalog of um, artists, very successful artists, very successful records uh, that you've worked with. What is, who's one artist that has stood out to you as far as work ethic-wise? Um, it's like, it's going to sound crazy, but I say honestly, like, people like Soldier Boy and, like, Waka Flocka. Okay. Um, because they, they literally go off a of vibe, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, and you could tell it like they literally just having fun. So, mm-hmm. you know, they go in there and just do what they do. In some kind of way, it always works. You know, a lot of people don't like it because they, you know, they say um, they aren't lyrical enough. But for what the message they're trying to get across is perfect. You know, sometimes you don't know, take a hot 32 bars and metaphors every mm-hmm. other line to get a point across. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very yeah. true. Okay. So look, Mr. Hickey, we're going to take a quick break. Like I said earlier today, instead of the three leak videos, we will be playing videos from tracks that Mr. Hickey himself have produced to get you guys familiar with the artist, the visual, and the man behind the hit record. So our next feature video is going to be from Wobble by Wobble. Vic. Oh, wow. How was that working that, with him? I didn't know you did Wobble. Yeah, it was, it was actually a group uh, effort, but uh, it was cool. It was a, um, he's another interesting artist, but that's a whole other uh, interview. Like, <laughs> you know, every artist has their own way of, of coming about with stuff, and it's, you know, mm. his was a process, definitely. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to play Wobble, and then after that, we're going to play uh, Nay Monique, Do It Nay. <laughs> I forgot about that one. How was that working with Shanae? Shout out everybody that's not familiar with Shanae. She's from the Bad Girls Club. She's a super dope actress. Okay, Everybody's right. socialite out here in Atlanta now. How was that working with her? Uh, Nae, Nae is interesting. Um, you know, she has a lot of talent. It's just, um, I didn't know she could actually do what she do. You mm-hmm. know, so it was a shock to me the whole time. Mm-hmm. And she can actually sing. A lot of people don't know that. So mm-hmm. I think when she actually gets out here, and, and do it for real, um, you know, it'll, it'll pop for her. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Sinead, by the way. Yeah, and Sinead. then the last video that we're going to play is from OT Genesis featuring Lil Wayne. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. How'd that come about? How's working with OT Genesis? Honestly, uh, it was just an email, you know. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of those situations. Uh, he was like, yo, send me something. And I sent him something. And that was the last thing I think he was going to pick. And, um came out dope 
Okay. Well, okay. we're going to get into those three vis- videos next. And then when we come back, we got a little segment that I like to call Truth or Truth. Cal, you want to explain the truth segment, how this works? <laughs> no, no, no. No it's truth or dare. No, it's truth or truth. It's no truth plead the truth. fifth. None of that. None of that. There's Explain no, it a little bit, Cal. You can't plead the it's fifth. Like a, uh, you just Donald you get... Trump. Uh, <laughs> like lose, lose, regardless. Lose, lose. That's right. <laughs> Pretty much, you have to answer the question, regardless of what it is. All right, cool. <laughs> so earlier today, when we were on break, before we brought Mr. Hanky up here, I handed everybody in the studio audience two sheets of paper. Everybody's allowed to write you. Two random questions, put it in a cup, ball it up, don't write your name on it, and you have to pick three random questions. My you man have to answer it. Book. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. No plead the fifth, Mr. Hanky. Not it's today. Cool. I, I, answer, I mean, I answer it. Do it have to be correct answers? Um, I mean, you know, as long as it's the truth. Do it have to be truthful answers? Y- yes. Oh, so truth like, or truth. I do like the politicians. I can answer the question. But oh, yeah, truth. He wants to be political as answers. Truth or truth. <laughs> All right. I'll That's answer. truth I'll or truth. like Donald Trump. Oh, uh, no. He lies. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So, look, we're going to get into the, uh, these videos, and we'll be back with Mr. Hanky. It's your girl, Karen Michelle. DJ Khalisimo, sweet DJ on LiveHipHopDaily.tv. The plug. We'll be back. <laughs> 